Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. Now before we get into the video guys, I do want to give you a quick little update because EA actually made this change pretty quickly after my morning video. They did actually add in now, so if you guys want to go ahead and pick up Byron Jones or maybe if you wanted to do some sort of Michael Thomas, Michael Thomas and Byron Jones now both can be skipped over with training so you don't have to have the journey card and you don't have to use a power pass now you can actually just use training it is 6840 for byron jones so just a little update here if you guys want to get byron jones you can skip over his journey with training in case you added that card into like an exchange or something let's get into the video what's going on guys it's zerks coming at you today with another youtube video and today we've got the new masters tom brady and byron jones on the team so of course we're doing some gameplay with them today make sure you guys drop a like in the video if you guys want to see more gameplay videos also want to give a shout out to andrew123 for being a part of the noted gang if you guys have a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like in the video make sure you sub the channel with that notification bell turn on and comment down below no to gang. So with that being said, let's go over these players. Let's go over their abilities, their ratings, because I know you guys are very curious. As for Tom Brady, of course, uh, when it comes to the, you know, regular abilities, he basically gets everything except for anchored extender when it comes to his art type. You guys can see, honestly, pretty good. Pretty dang good abilities. My one issue I have, right, is I actually want to use four abilities so bad on him. I want to use Pocket Deadeye, Hot Route Master, Protected, and Gunslinger. So unfortunately, I couldn't go with Gunslinger. We're going with Protected, Hara Master, and Pocket Deadeye. He gets all the same abilities in all three slots. And then, of course, Fearless for his x -Pack. Now, it does have the NFL 100, which is Pro Reads. I don't really care for that. It, it really doesn't matter at all. So, we're not going to be putting the NFL 100 ability on him today. But we also have got Byron Jones. And I realized I just forgot to show you guys his actual throwing stats because I actually switched my entire team, or at least my receivers, over to go deep to actually get him go deep because I actually run West Coast. But now he's got 98 throw power, 99 short, 99 medium, 96 deep, 95 throw under pressure, and 84 throw on the run. Also, should mention uh, do a sprinter maxed out, go deep maxed out, and John Madden passing tier two now when it comes to byron again sprinter maxed out lockdown maxed out and i also have got on him i'm trying to remember here i have john madden past the times two so he should be looking pretty dang good 96 man 99 zone 99 press 99 play rank 99 speed excel jumping and 97 agility this card is going to be so disgusting now you guys can see also he's got a 50 block which isn't insane but it's it's decent uh and of course a 61 hit power so a lot of people been asking me do i think he's gonna be better than night train lane i did use night train he played super super good byron just have 69 catching the biggest difference of course the block shed the hit power and everything night train is just like the most physical corner in the game it's not even close in terms of coverage though i think byron should play pretty dang similar so with that being said Let's get into the gameplay. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So that is going to be my top three with Brady, Byron Jones, and Gale Sayers, and my opponent's top three. So let's see what we can do it here on the offensive side of things with Tom Brady. Oh, Calvin Johnson's got to be for sure down the field. Nice throw. And I thought we maybe we could juke him out. So my opponent realized that I've got a turtle for a quarterback. So we sent a blitz to me. Second and 22 coming up, though. I think we have Randy Moss down the field. Can we make that throw? Did he hold on? Good catch. I didn't know if he held on or if he dropped it, but that was actually a really, really good catch there from Randy Moss. Probably looking to go to Torrey Holt, though as it looks like he's not going to be open, but B is going to be open underneath. Randy Moss, again, catching that, but couldn't really do much with it. Might be looking to go to Torrey Holt right down the middle of the field. Looks like he's not going to be open, but Kittle is going to be open underneath. He's got Clowney in coverage, and that's not really going to work. I honestly might be looking for Kittle here. We'll see if he's going to get open. Looks like he's probably not. Maybe I can hit Y back in the end zone. High point fade. Dang it, Torrey Holt. 
I always really seem to stall out when I get down to the red zone, especially when I'm doing like a QB gameplay because I can't run the ball as Kittle is going to drop that. So now let's see what Byron Jones can do. And I did actually take the three points. Usually I'd go for like on fourth down, but I really felt like we were not going to be able to get anything there. So I took the three and we'll see what we can do now on defense. It looks like my opponent may be a heavy runner, which let's be honest here, that is 90% of the Madden community. So no surprise. He also does have Patrick Mahomes, though, so at any time, he can really just go over the top here. Watching out for this, Byron. Oh, uh, I was really, really hoping he would try to throw it, and Byron Jones get, like, a pick. Let's see if he goes back to the air and actually know, of course, he is going to go back to the run game, and again, not really going anywhere. If you're trying to run the ball against me, you really have to run it up the inside because I have Clowney and TJ Watt in the edges, and they both have abilities to help them stop the run as I don't know how he got that pass in. I'm actually going to run some press man coverage because I feel like with Byron and Dion, I should be able to do so. Maybe not so much on Dion's side, but Byron Jones should be locked down. And just to ensure I can actually run some press man coverage, I just subbed in Tredavious White, who of course is a little bit better at press. So we'll see how that goes as it looks like nobody is open. Great defense. So now I have two 99 press cornerbacks on the outside, and you guys can see right here, Byron Jones now switched onto the running back. Byron, I thought he let him catch in. I was about to be so mad, but Byron Jones got the interception. We're down to the 32. Honestly, I didn't know what happened there until it actually, like, the camera switched with the Byron interception, because it just looked super weird. I thought the running back actually caught it, but great play by Byron Jones, as I kind of want to try it. Can we get him? Kittle down the field. Dang it, man. So Kittle, unfortunately, could not come down with that catch as it looks like he probably have X open and I couldn't get the ball off. I couldn't get the ball off there. We actually did have someone open, but fourth and 22, we're going to play kind of risky here. And I'm going to try to chuck it deep down the field. Oh my God. Tom Brady just made that throw. I cannot believe the play that Tom Brady just made there. Like, I don't even know how far of a throw that was, but... I did not think Brady was going to be able to lead that pass. That was absolutely <laughs> incredible. Just a great, great pass there from Tom Brady as Saquon tripped up. Byron is activated though, so he definitely does not want to throw to Byron Jones' side. Watching out over the middle here, nothing's going to be open. And unfortunately, yes, yeah, something is going to be open. I'd imagine to go back to the run game. And I really have never seen someone just run straight up their entire offense out of I-form. I guess if you mostly just run the ball, then it kind of works out for you, but you do something like that, nothing's going to be open. Third and 11 coming up, see what he's going to go to though, I'm watching out down the sidelines, and we get the sack from Clowney. Fourth and 21, and this guy is actually going for it, I'm kind of surprised, I'm not even going to watch that over the middle, please Tredavious, that was just a bad throw I think. I might honestly get Calvin Johnson, just like straight down the field, looks like he's probably not going to be open, but we might have a dot cooked up here to Torrey Holt. And he caught that. So it was a great catch by Holt, but now we're down to the one, and I really just don't have any sort of offense for down here. I'm gonna try to high point it, and Kittle gets the TD. So another TD pass there for Tom Brady. I'm really just hoping my opponent decides to pass the ball some more because I wanted to throw at Byron Jones more. But I am absolutely still just like in disbelief at how far of a throw Tom Brady made. I have to see when I'm editing this video just how far it was because I don't know exactly, but I know it was crazy as Byron was in the vicinity, but Sean Taylor is going to come in with the INT. Let's see if we can maybe go down around the 20. That way I can just punch it in with Tom Brady and I'm going to try to actually go down around like the 10. And it looks like my opponent is going to be quitting the game, but you guys can see Tom Brady, 187 yards and two touchdowns. We honestly played pretty good defense there. Byron Jones did have an interception and in general just locked his guy down. So that was the Byron Jones and Tom Brady gameplay. Let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Byron Jones played super, super good. I mean, the 96 man, 99 zone, 99 speed, Excel, player like press. I don't plan on getting rid of Byron Jones all year long. I feel like this is really an end game type of cornerback to pair with Deion Sanders and then Denzel Ward, Mel Renfro, really just waiting on like that next 98 99 overall corner maybe you know the next champ bailey upgrade or whatever the cornerback comes out and i honestly think my cornerback core is going to be stacked like i really don't need to upgrade anywhere else as for tom brady he played really good i'm just really not into pocket qbs it's not my style of quarterback but i have to go see how far of a throw that was because that was absolutely insane by tom i think that was a crazy crazy throw and in general i really like the car the abilities that he gets 
pretty good. You know, he does have protection that definitely does help with the fact that he doesn't have a skateboardist, but again, I really like to have the escape artist, even if it's not to get away from pressure, really just to add on to that extra effect of, oh, I can scramble, oh, I can pick up 5, 10 yards here, or if you have a fast QB like Vic, I can pick up 20, 30 yards if you don't have a QB spy and you're running man, everyone's down the field, wide open lane. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. If you guys watched all the way to the end, comment down below, GOAT for Tom Brady, or for Byron Jones, kind of the go-to. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.